everyone, welcome back. My name is Alicia and I make fashion and lifestyle videos here on my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a huge Shein haul. I picked up so many cute pieces for spring summer and I also picked up some cute little things for my daughter Aria. So if you're interested in seeing her little charan, definitely stick to the end. But before I get started, I would love for you guys to consider subscribing to my channel. Like this video if you like huge Shein hauls like this one and leave me a comment down below letting me know what piece from my haul was your favorite. And without further ado, let's just get started. Okay guys, so if this dress doesn't scream me then i don't know what does i am in love with this dress so much this is the first thing that i picked up from my haul this was like the first thing i saw when i was shopping and i fell in love with it so basically it is this really pretty girly dress the cut of it so reminds me of something that my mom had in the 80s this really like low um cut on the hips and then the frill right here it fits so nice as you guys can see and it's so flattering so first of all the material is like a nice cotton material and it's actually an eyelet i'll come in closer so you guys can see the detailing here it's an eyelet material and then it has like a ruffle going on here a cute little puff sleeve and then it also has like a ruffle going down here to towards the lower lower part of your um waist and then um the skirt just flares out a little bit and there's also like little detailing on the bottom this dress is so super pretty i didn't expect it to fit like this because um again like you guys know i've been saying throughout my all my hauls <laughs> i'm still i'm starting to work out now and starting to try to get rid of my mom belly um but i actually do like this i think it fits so good it's flattering with a pair of spangs i will be fine and I'm definitely gonna keep this one i honestly guys i was gonna when ordering this i know i don't know if anyone else does this in the back of my mind oh i was thinking maybe i might be returning this but i think it is a keeper i like it and the material is nice and then the the whole like print of it it looks like denim so basically this looks like a denim um bleach tie-dye but it's actually a cotton material um i'm thinking this is like an indigo fabric to give you that look but i am loving this i'll turn to the side so you guys can see the back here it kind of like scoops down like that um but if it's really nice i believe i bought a medium i bought a medium and everything and the medium fits me perfectly for reference i'm five six and i am around 139 pounds maybe less because i've been working out so I, don't, I haven't weighed myself um but i'll get all my stats up for you guys soon i do have more um belly pudge around this midsection um from having my last kid which i am working out on right now so so you guys just have an idea of my body type um, but yeah, I am in a medium in most stores and then, um, only at Express I'm in a small, but in most stores I'm in a medium, especially like fast fashion, uh, junior stores or junior brands, I wear a size medium. Um, and then my shoes are just from Target and it's these are really cute braided, uh, mules or not mules, um, braided slides. And I will do a whole like Target spring accessories haul pretty soon because they have so much cute things like target's killing it right now with the spring accessories so i'll bring you that guys that video very soon but this is the first top um first dress i do have a top similar to the same kind of wash and look i'll try that on next so you guys can see the comparison but i am overall so happy and pleased with this dress okay so here's the next outfit let's start with the top the top is the same fabric and wash as the dress i just tried on it is cropped as you can see um it's right here my belly button's here and then the shirt ends right here um it is a true wrap it's super cute i like it i like the detailing here on the neckline it has like this kind of um this embroidery um scallop embroidery going around here and on the sleeves as you can see and then on the sleeves right here i don't know if you guys can see but it has like this kind of open work embroidery um i think they call that um teeth stitch or something like that <laughs> but it is super cute and it, it's in the same eyelet material and same wash um and then the skirt is an eyelet material i feel like the skirt and the top is the same fabric it's just that um this is not in a wash so you can see the actual pattern 
better, but it's in that same kind of V-cut ruffle, and then it has a two-tiered ruffle right here. For reference, the top and the bottom is in a size medium. Um, it The skirt is a little tight here, so you guys can see my little pudge here, but if I wear like a, a pair of spanks or just suck it in, it should be fine. Um, but I think it's cute. I think this whole outfit is cute. I actually... Um, bought this skirt to wear it with another top i'll try on after this so i saw that combo online and i really liked it so i'm gonna try it out and see if it looks similar to what i saw on the website but i really do enjoy this top i think this top will look cute with some high-waisted jeans as well um i think i'll try that let me try on the jeans first and then i'll put back on the skirt with the top so you guys can see like different options on how to style these two pieces because i feel like this is a little bit much a lot of people won't be wearing these two combos together i like it i like the whole kind of dressy girly look but if this is way too much for you i'll show you guys how you can wear a pair of jeans with the top and then um, i'll show you how i wanted to initially style the skirt with the other top so this is how the top looks with a pair of jeans. These are just some like high-waisted uh, mom jeans that I picked up. And I think it looks cute with this. Again, anything high-waisted will look fine. If you're not into like wide leg or mom jeans, then skinny jeans would be fine even though Gen Z is against the whole skinny jean trend. <laughs> Um, I'm a millennial, whatever. But I think any sort of um, slim fitting jeans will look nice with this top. Nothing too voluminous because the sleeve, you have a lot going on. So anything more wider than this fit won't look that great. But I like the white wash with the darker, like the denim wash. I feel like it's a nice contrast. But yeah, this is how it will look even with a pair of shorts. I think this will look super cute with a pair of shorts. But this is how the top looks. And I think it, it's look, it looks really nice. Again, anything high-waisted with this would be fine because it's long enough to cover the top part of your jeans. You can even tuck it in if you want to, but I think that might be weird because of the nature of the top. But that's how it looked tucked in. It actually doesn't look that bad. So yeah, you can definitely tuck it in if you want to, but this is how it looks with a pair of jeans. So here's the next outfit. I'll start with the top. The top is this really cute uh, see-through. It's kind of like a jacquard fabric and it has like these really cute little embroidered daisies, black daisies on there. I've been looking for more tops to add into my spring wardrobe because I do have a lot of bottoms like I have tons of jeans but I needed like cuter tops I have tons of t-shirts so I wear a lot of t-shirts t-shirts and jeans but I wanted more like nicer tops I guess to throw on now that things are getting a little bit better I'm hoping um, we can go out more and go to more places um, that's still safe so I wanted more nicer tops to wear and I picked this one up I actually do like this so it just to warn you guys it is see-through I am wearing a black bra and I'm pretty sure you guys can see my black bra underneath so I would suggest wearing this with something nude like a nude bra and I think it looks really nice paired with this light wash jeans I just showed you the jeans with the other top but I feel like the jeans looks better with this top um, it is more of that kind of it's it's in between like it's more tapered so i feel like this sort of shape is a more flattering way to wear any sort of straight leg jean just because it's a little bit more tapered it'll give you a little bit more shape um and then especially if you are on a shorter side wearing something like this would be better than wearing a full wide leg jean because wearing a wide leg jean on a shorter person will just swallow you up so i feel like this shape is a, a more safer way to wear the trend i like that it's high-waisted and it's plain i like how it's clean and simple it just has a raw hem no distressing or anything and it fits really well for reference this is a medium I believe or a six. I'll leave my sizing down below like always and I'll link everything like always. But this one fits so well. I'll try to show you guys the back a little bit. I mean, none of these jeans don't flatter your butt. None of them does. <laughs> they're they're all 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 of these jeans fit on flattering. There is no jean that I found with this sort of shape that makes your butt look good. But anyways, um, and then I just have it with these pair of nude slides and i feel like the look is very simple very chic it looks expensive but guys i did not pay a lot of money for this outfit at all and the quality so far i have to give it to she and the quality so far is really good so here's the outfit i wanted to share with you guys um to show you the top of the skirt 
the top okay I do not like the top and I'll be honest with you guys um, it's not for me it's not my style I thought that I don't know I wanted to be more adventurous and get more like pretty blouses but this is not something that I would typically wear and there's nothing wrong with it it's just I think it's it's just too much I have more nowhere to go to wear this but if you have any kind of occasion or anything then I think this would be super cute maybe not with the skirt I think it's too much like it's too much going on with on the top of the skirt um maybe just a plain pair of jeans okay so this the shoulders have some sort of fusing fusing and in, interlining inside and it's just to make the fabric stiff and make the poof hair where the pleating more structured uh, so that's why they added that in there it's not a true um, shoulder pad so it's like a fusing to kind of give it structure on the top then there is a uh, lace going around the sleeves uh, the arm here it is kind of tight on me but um it's not that tight i can still move it it's just to give it i guess again that structured look and then if you go down to the sleeves there is a cuff a broad cuff going on right here by the wrist and then the buttons <laughs> the buttons was really really hard to um button up i left the top because i couldn't i couldn't continue with it and i don't really have long nails like my nails are not that long but it, the, I think the little elastic here to put around the button is a little bit too small so it's kind of hard to stretch and put it around um, and but the pattern and the overall fabric is nice it's a really it's a pretty blouse it's just too much going on for me especially with the skirt I saw it online and I kind of like the look of it but in person um, maybe not on me the model it looked really nice and maybe on some other people or even if you know what this actually will look nice if you do go to church for Easter and stuff like that I think this would be a really pretty like church Easter outfit for you guys but I don't have anywhere to wear it so um, the top is going back but the skirt is actually um, it's growing on me I think I can wear this like just a, like a plain t-shirt I think that'll look really cute with like a denim jacket I think that look would look really nice um, but yeah this is the whole outfit I wanted to share with you guys uh, with the top and the skirt let me know in the comments do you like this look or do you think it looks way too over the top so the next thing I want to share with you guys are these shorts. So um, the t-shirt is my t-shirt. It's not from Shein, but the sh I bought the shorts because I needed more summer shorts. I like that this has an elastic waist to make it a little bit more comfortable. And it, the, it is that kind of like mom shorts. It's supposed to be paper bag where it's like more fitted on the top, but it's just an elastic, which it doesn't have that extra fabric like a paper bag that kind of blows out. So it's just to kind of cinch in your waist a little bit more and to make it comfortable at the same time i like the length of it a lot of shorts are a little bit too short for my liking so i like the fact that this is not that short as you guys can see and then i just have it again paired with just like a plain t-shirt and then the same sandals that i showed you guys in my last um, Walmart haul which I'll leave linked down below I did a huge Walmart haul so if you guys are interested definitely check that out but I really do like these shorts they're so simple they're comfortable um, the actual fabric is not that stretchy a lot of Shein jeans I do like I do um, notice they're not that stretchy so you definitely have to find your correct size and I would suggest just maybe buying two sizes maybe size up one buy your true size and size up one just in case I know what size I wear in Shein because I have been buying jeans from them but um, this one in particular is true to size so I'll, I'll let you know that but sometimes if the jeans are a little bit too rigid then um, they may be a little bit too tight and then some jeans I would buy my right size and they're too small so it is a hit or miss and um, definitely check out like comments I know sometimes the comments are weird because they're from different countries and may need to be translated but sometimes people give you good information on there but anyways the jeans do fit really nice or the shorts and again, this would be like a su super simple, easy outfit for the summertime, springtime, maybe if you have like a little barbecue or just to like run out and like go grocery shopping or something like that. But I really do like this. I think it's really flattering and for the price point, it is not bad at all. Again, I'll leave all the information linked down below and just to let you know, I didn't pay full price. 
Chin always has some sort of coupon going on so I definitely use a coupon on my order because I ordered a big like a lot of a lot of things um so I didn't pay a lot for these jeans at all or anything that I'm showing you guys today so here is the next outfit I bought another blouse because again I wanted more like pretty blouses to wear with my jeans to just go out with this I bought in a medium, but I feel like it's kind of big. First of all, it's really, really low. Like, this is super low. This is where the, the uh, middle of my bra is. So, it is super low, and it's kind of see-through. Not as see-through as the other one, but definitely you need to wear a nude bra because you can kind of see the black outline of mine. But I'll untuck it so you guys can see how it looks. As you can see, it is kind of big. So, I wish I had sized down for this, and if you are planning on buying this top, top then i would suggest to size down even the sleeves is like kind of like long um but overall i do really like it i think it's cute it's in the swiss dot material and then it has like this kind of embroidery lace going down the neckline and on um down the middle and the next thing are these pair of shorts like oh my god these are so cute so the reason why i bought this is because now that we are starting to go out a little bit more now i wanted to do more mommy and me outfits with aria and i actually found a pair of like daisy shorts for her from walmart for like seven bucks super cheap so i saw these and i thought it would be cute for us to match um i do have like little blouses for her to wear too so if i do wear a blouse like this then she has her little blouse or we can just wear t-shirts with it but yeah i am that mom and i'm excited to be matching with my daughter but these jeans just to let you know um they are a little bit thinner so the jeans that i wore before the material felt a lot better it felt thicker better quality these feel really cheap and honestly if I didn't buy this intending to wear to match with Aria. I probably would have been returning these because I feel like the quality feels like really, really cheap and thin. But I mean, it's not that bad for the price what I paid. And again, because I wanted to match my daughter, it's okay. But I mean, I i feel like it's a lot thinner quality than the other one if i hadn't put on those those shorts first then i would have been more okay with the quality like i wouldn't really notice the difference but since i did try on those and those fit way or feel better quality then that's why i'm commenting but again i'll get i want to give you guys my honest opinion on everything because i know especially ordering from Shein, it does take a while as it's coming from china so i don't want to tell you guys oh yeah i love it but then it sucks so just to let you know my honest opinion the quality is a little bit thinner and if you honestly if you're not looking for this a particular pattern or design like this then this is something you, you would be you can skip so this is the last thing i want to share with you guys and it's these pair of jeans i just kept on this blouse because i think it looks actually pretty really pretty together um the jeans is very rigid just to warn you guys again um this has like no stretch at all like none but it does fit okay like i don't mind it sometimes rigid jeans again like i said may not be the most comfortable and they may not fit but these fit me true to size so again i'll leave my sizing down below but i like how nice this is i like how minimal even though it does have distressing it's just like a minimal distressing on the right leg it is high-waisted it is cropped it's more cropped than the other one i believe and um i like the wash so this wash is really nice to go with lighter blouses for the springtime i, I like the whole contrast of it so i am wearing that same nude slides from target and i feel like this whole look looks really nice really chic um it looks expensive the whole outfit Outfit, but again it's from Shein so it's not expensive at all again it is high-waisted I'll come closer so you guys can see a better look um, the butt is a little bit more flattering on this one than the other one but like I said the, these jeans the butts never the butts <laughs> the butt is never flattering on any of these jeans but I think on this one is pretty it's pretty nice and the next few things I have are accessories I did buy a lot of jewelry and I did buy clothes for my daughter so I'll show you guys the jewelry that I bought for myself and then the hair accessories I bought for her and then we'll go into the her 
a whole little uh, try on haul. Okay, so I put my hair up so I can show you guys uh, the accessories. The first thing I want to show you guys are these earrings. So they're just like a little um, brass hoop earring and I've been so into that whole brass hoop trend. I just picked up so many cute brass jewelry. Uh, it's more like a like a gold like a dull gold um from target so again that will be in my target haul that i'll have soon but i thought these were so cute and really minimalistic um very easy to just throw on and i like the size of them they feel like they're really good quality they actually feel like the target ones but they're like so much cheaper like half the price um everything i bought today was so so inexpensive and again i did get a discount coupon so she and all has like those coupons you can definitely find it find it on their website they'll tell you to add whatever codes so that's what i did so i also picked up these brass earrings um, and it looks like this. I'll try them on so you guys can see how they look on. So this is how this one looks and this is how this one looks. So you can see for a comparison and I'll hold them up closer to the screen. So this is the first one that I had on. As you can see, it looks very, um, it looks very pretty, very like high quality. Whereas this one looks more, um, plasticky. But I like the concept how it has like the skinnier hoop and then it gets thicker hair. So again, for that whole like minimalistic look, I think that would be a perfect like, earring to pick up. And they're so inexpensive. Anything trendy, I feel like um, the best bet is just to buy something cheap. You're not going to be wanting to wear it all the time anyways. And then afterwards, like if they get broken and whatever, you can just toss them. The next thing I got was this pair so i've been looking for uh spring summer i wanted more of like um chunkier but more artsy kind of earrings if you know what i'm talking about i bought um some cute ones again like brass ones from target but everything i got from shein they're all um like colored or that kind of rubbery material so i'll try this on so you guys can see how it looks but i really like this one I like how it looks very like abstract. I like the coloring because it'll match when it, it's neutral. It'll look nice against my dark hair. And it'll match with any kind of neutral outfit I have on. And I mean, even a pair of earrings like this, what like a t-shirt or something, will kind of like jazz it up a little bit. I can't believe I just said jazz it up. It'll dress it up a little bit. So um, I picked up this one. And then I'll take these off so I can show you guys another pair. I found these and these are so pretty. Sorry, if it's like a lot of noise, but I'm taking it out of the plastic. Um, these look like more of like a clay kind of look to them, but I thought they were so nice. Again, they look expensive. I feel like you would find these more in a higher end boutique. And I think these are like, a lot of these earrings were maybe like around one to like four or five dollars at most but this is how this one looks so you guys can see and it's very very cute again with that whole kind of artsy minimal look i think it's it'll go perfect for spring summer because that's what's trending right now sorry for the noise outside every time i film that's when they people decide that they want to make noise in the background so um i'll try to drown it out as much as i can but yeah I can't help that beeping noise. Anyway, so the next thing is this pair. I thought this was so adorable. So it's kind of like that whole chain link trend, but it has like a nude and then a darker brown color interlocked. And I think it looks so cute. It looks so trendy and um, I like it. Again, I'm I was looking for these types of earrings and I'm so happy that I stumbled across them from Tien because <clears throat> literally everywhere else had them for so expensive. So I saw this black one and I was on the fence of getting it, but I'm happy I got it. Um, it's just really cute. And as you can see, I know like I, if I wear this, I have to wear my hair up because it'll just blend in with my darker hair. But I think this looks so cool. This is more of like a statement piece. Um, it does, it is laying kind of weird because it's kind of, it wants to push my ear like that. <laughs> But um, other than that, I think it's fine. I'll hold it up closer to the screen so you guys can see how it looks. So that's that. Um, I didn't. I think it, yeah, I did show you guys this one. And I show you guys the other one. Oh, and this one. I didn't show you guys this one. So this is how the interlock one looked here. Um, I also picked up a pair of pink ones. So I thought this would have looked um, 
been kind of cool to try out. I'm not into, I'm more into like neutrals and stuff, especially for my jewelry. This will look perfect with any kind of like white or like cream top, nothing too crazy. Um, but I like, I like the whole look of it. I like the shape and this is how it looks up close. As you can see, it's so cute. Um, I also got two hoops. So I saw these and I thought these were really cute um they're just like a nude pair of hoops so i don't know let me hold it up against something white cardboard so you guys can see it better so it's just a pair of the nude kind of brown hoops and i thought these would have been cool again on my hair up um i like to wear big hoops like this on my hair up when it's down it kind of gets lost but um i thought this would have been a change from my gold and my silver hoops so it's just a pair of like brown nude hoops i also got a black one so i'll show you guys the black one next to the brown and i think these are so cute my ears are getting so red <laughs> just disregard that but yeah so this is a black one again i would most likely have to 100 percent wear this up because my hair is dark but um it's just a pair of black hoops and then the material of this is like very rubberized um what else so i bought some necklaces i actually wore one i'm gonna have to grab it but here is the first one i got i'll show you guys against here so it's like a really pretty it's just it's a really pretty um layered necklace it's you can see right here and I, I got this for a couple dollars not a lot as like definitely cheaper than you would buy from um h&m or forever 21 but the quality actually feels really good that, not that like honestly this is like a first impressions because <laughs> i bought these and i kept them in the bag um in like a little target shopping bag just so um i have them together when i wanted to share with you guys but this is how it looks i think it looks so pretty so like expensive looking and it fits perfectly with a low cut shirt like this even like a plain like a higher neck t-shirt and then you just put this on top i think that will look really cool like a trendy look so this is this one and i will link everything that i'm showing you guys down below like i've said a million times i know i keep repeating myself um so i bought this because i like the little i like the little um the little rhinestone that it has so i'll share it guys like this so it's just like again a layered with like a longer like bar and then a little rhinestone so i'll try this on next so you guys can see oh it's actually two separate so this one is all in one there's only one class whereas this is two separate class so that's cool so if you want to wear them separately you can what i'll do let me change my earrings it looks, looks kind of funky right now um but here is the layered one i'm just trying to take it out of the paper what did i do? did i break it don't tell me i just broke it oh my gosh okay so do not pull on them because they'll break they'll break <laughs> I just broke it. Oh no. Okay, so I don't know where the clasp is and I'm gonna have to have my husband help me fix this, but it's fixable because it's just like I'll just layer it on like this so you guys can see. And that's the only thing about these cheaper like things, they break easily. That's so funny. Um so this is how it would look if it didn't break on me. It's pretty and I like it. <laughs> Oh my god, don't buy this one. I'm not, I, I like it, it's really pretty, but they break really easy. You just gotta be delicate. I'm too rough with my stuff. Next thing I bought was this like really pretty green one. I don't know what um, made me buy this. I just saw it and I thought it was really cute. So I figured I don't have any kind of gem colored necklaces and this is more of like a choker. So I thought that was really cool. And it was really different. This feels like a better quality than the other one. And this is really, really pretty. So this is how it looks. And I think it looks really nice with the little hoop earrings. It's not too much going on in your face. Um, so I really, really do like this. And I recommend this one 100%. Okay, so the next one I actually wore already. And it's like this kind of chunky kind of charm necklace i thought this looked like the old school like tiffany necklaces you know what i'm talking about i had one of those the like silver one 
um, but I saw it and I just thought it looked really cool. Um, it is in between lightweight and chunky, so it's not that like chunky where it's too heavy, but it feels substantial. Like it feels like it's a good like weight to it. And as you can see, this is how it looks. I thought it was like a cool like um, difference in all like these like thin minimal like necklaces necklaces I've been buying. So I wanted something more like um, more out there like chunkier more like with some weight to it so i picked up this one and then the last necklace i got um that this one's really pretty i'll try to be delicate with this one so i don't break it but it's this really really pretty like choker with a little um rhinestone going on right there and it has like little beads going down the necklace as you guys can see um but i'll try this on for you guys and I think this is so pretty, so so like delicate and minimal. Nothing like it's it's pretty. It's, it has like something to it with the like little rhinestone and the little balls, beads, <laughs> balls, the little beads. But I think it's still like it's pretty. See, it's like nothing too much. Um, but yeah, that's all the jewelry that I picked up for myself. Now for Aria. A lot of her stuff she been, she's been she been wearing already because um, they're so cute and I couldn't wait to put it on her. So it's going to be a little bit crazy. But um, the first thing I want to show you guys are these like little clips. So she has really thin hair. She has so little of it and it's like her hair is taking longer to grow and she doesn't have a lot of it. But the top of her hair is getting really long and I think she'll look weird with bangs right now. So I'm trying to grow out the front. So I bought these to kind of keep it out of her face and a lot of the little clips i've been finding are super big and i like how small these are so these are super small i'll put it in my hair so you guys can see but see they're really tiny so these this would be perfect for any little kid um because they're not big and it came with this like in this cute like little star jar with a whole bunch of different colors so i thought that would be really nice for her the next thing about were like these funky clips. So I thought these were so cute. These are um, like jelly kind of plastic and they have like little rhinestone, like guys, not rhinestone, um, what do you call it? Like confetti, like sequins inside and they're just like different types of fruits. Um, but these are bigger. I'll put them in my hair and I actually saw these on Amazon, but they were double the price So I bought I think I bought this whole pack for three bucks and on Amazon they are like six or twelve bucks They're expensive, but um on she and they're so much cheaper So I got this for her and I like that it's soft so it won't really hurt her head too much um, The next thing I got was a pack of these three heart hair clips so I thought these were so cute because I thought these would be like really nice like mommy and me clips. So obviously she was she she will wear the little one here. Um has a like glue to it. So she'll wear the little one and then I will wear the big one and we will match. So <laughs> that's how they look and it comes with three different colors. I think this was like one of the more expensive things I bought. Oh god, my hair is it's in my hair. Okay. Um uh, this was more of the, a little bit more expensive, but still it wasn't expensive at all. It's probably like a couple of dollars. Um, so that's that. I also bought this big pack of little hair ties. So this comes with a whole bunch of little, like, you know, the little elastic ones. Since her hair is so thin, this is like perfect for her hair right now. And it's just like these like little elastic ones. It comes like the bigger elastic. I don't want to put it too much. So you can see it's like falling already. And then it also comes with a whole bunch of clips. So it comes with like um, these like little cute like hair clips. And what I like about these is that they're plastic. So it won't really like pull on her hair too much. And then it also came with like these, these like little metal hair clips. Um, but these are small too, so they won't really like hurt her head too much. My favorite is this like little macaroon. This is so cute. The next thing I got was this whole pack of like hair things. So I bought this. I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm giving giving away my age right now. I don't know if you guys remember. I think it's called Topsy Turvy or something. But it was like these like little loop things that used to put in your hair to kind of loop it. Where now everyone's doing it right now because it's trending. But I used, we used to do it back in the day in the 90s or the early 2000s but it came with like a whole bunch of like these like little things where um I, gotta, I don't remember how to use a lot of them 
I just know how to use this and I needed actually like a comb like this for her hair to like part it down the middle. So I picked this one up and it was like a couple dollars. And then I got this. I don't know why I got this. It basically, it has like two of these in here. So I just picked this one up. I don't it was late at night when I was placing my order, so I was sleepy. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is this pack of butterfly clips. So she's missing one because I don't know where I put it because she, she actually wore it already. But these are so cute. What I love about these is that it's lined with ribbon. So it's not going to pull on her hair or anything. And these are super adorable. I like the fact that it came with two. What I did with her hair is I put her in like little pigtails and then I just put these on. And for some reason, and these still remind me of like 90s like it reminds me of like things we had in the 90s so um i ha have them upside down so i think it came with an extra color i just don't know what the color is um i think it, it's like a, a oh it was a lighter pink but i'll link it down below so if you click on the link you'll see it's just like a lighter pink color but it's so cute the next thing i got was these fuzzy hearts so um i'll hold up one so you guys can see so it looks like this and it has like a metal black clipping in the back here and it came in all of these cute colors and again these are only a couple of dollars it wasn't expensive at all i think that's it yeah so it came in all of these colors i thought that some of the colors would be perfect for her to wear now and then a lot of the colors she can wear in the fall time like like this yellow and like the burgundy and then like the other color colors i feel like she can wear right now but this is how they look and again they're like super cute it's just like a sherpa kind of heart shaped okay so the next things i want to share with you guys are these really cute like little heart clips um they are bigger than the ones i just showed you as you can see the size difference and this is more defined than this but these are super cute and they come in all of these colors i thought that they would be perfect for like spring summertime except this one is more like a fall color but they are super cute and then the last thing i'm gonna share with you guys or there's actually one more thing but this doesn't come like this so this is two separate packs but again we opened them because we were so excited they're so cute and she was putting them all on her hair so this is two separate packs but again i'll leave them both linked down below but i just wanted to share with you guys they are super cute they come with like strawberries and little rainbows flowers like little mermaid girls uh ice pops cupcakes like this is so cute and adorable for a little girl and then the last thing are these like little pom-pom um little um ponytails these are super cute and they come with two so these will be cute for like little pigtails um i already put this one on her so this is in her room already but it comes with all of these colors so um a white a like a mauvey pinky color a like pretty sage green this like a really cute mustard color and then a pair of uh, red ones so these like little pom-pom like little like things are so cute but yep that's all of the accessories like i told you i got i got so many things um and then and now i guess we'll try have ari's little try on haul so if you guys made it this far thank you but stay tuned because her try on haul is going to be super super cute okay so now let's move on to aria's portion of the haul um you're going to hear her speaking in the background she's here with me but um i'll try to do this quick so the first thing is this really cute sweater vest now i bought everything in a size 90 which when i got everything in i found out it was way too big for her so i only can keep a handful of the things i can i can kind of get away with so the first thing is this really cute vest it's it's in a size 90 but i thought this was really cute and it'll go with the whole trend of here's aria <laughs> it'll go with the whole trend of um sweater vests and stuff that is going on right now for adults i think it'll be it's like a, such a cute um trend for kids this now this does run a little bit big for her um so i'm gonna have to kind of like get a, like a little belt or something to put around her waist maybe like a cute little t-shirt and some leggings um she can rock this or if she can't fit into it to it now she can definitely wear this uh, later on in this the like fall winter time of the ending of this year because she'll grow into it um the only thing that i bought in a size 80 that fit her is this really cute um shirt i'll button it up so you guys can see it quickly it has like 
It has buttons in between, but I didn't button it up. But this is how it looks. It has a cute like little Peter Pan collar and it has like little cuffs all in like this really cute like tortoise tortoise shell um, button. But um, this one fits her perfectly and the material feels really nice and soft and silky. The next thing I have to share with you guys is um, this like little Swiss dot um, little top. So I'll button this back. She just tried on everything. I'll try my best to insert as much clips as possible, but she wasn't really um, working with me. So, um, but the next one is this. This isn't a size 90, but it runs a little bit small. So if you guys do buy this for your kid, if you're a kid, um, it's true to size. And I guess like an 80 would be like a 9 to 12 like a 12 months a 90 would be going into 18 months so um it is a little bit big on her but i like the fact that it has like this like sheer paneling in the front and um it has like a true like swiss dot going through the whole thing and it has like the ruffle in the back as well and it's like a really cute ruffly neck neckline <laughs> um so the next thing i got was this really cute sweatsuit set here is the pants and i like the front seaming going down the middle of the pants and then this is a matching uh, top and I think it did come in different colors but I got the header gray because I like the neutral and it looks so super super cute on her um the next thing I got was this super cute denim jacket now this does run it looks big on her but it's big in a good way gives her that like oversized look especially because the sleeve is um a balloon sleeve it has pleating here so it gives you that kind of voluminous sleeve look and it's just this like this is how it looks in the front <laughs> and then um this is the embroidery in the back so it says no love lost and it has a bouquet here um it has like this extra little piece here which is supposed to be the stem of the flowers but i think i might cut it off because it looks weird and it has this cute little bow but i thought this was super super cute and it fits her so well so this is definitely a keeper so the rest of the things i'm gonna have to return because it is so big that um she's gonna take a while to grow into these things so i can't even keep it for her to grow into eventually because they're just so big so again if your kid is a true like wearing a true 18 months then this might fit them better even if it's a little bigger they'll grow into it but it's a lot big for her it's like way too big so the first thing is this jeans so i'm so bummed that she can't fit into this um but this is so cute i was thinking of maybe keeping this you know jeans you can wear all week all year round but this one is so cute it has like a unicorn a rainbow it has some stars in the back pocket it has like a rainbow and stars too and it's like a paper bag lace so it is so so cute and it's like an acid wash and the denim quality on this feels really good so i bought this shirt dress with the intention of a mommy and me look i actually bought this for for myself but it was so see-through i couldn't show you guys in the video so um and on her it is too big um i don't really see her wearing this it was kind of that spur of the moment thing because it was like the only mom you need look i could find on the website that would fit her kind of fit her but i decided against it but if you um if you're a kid like if you like these kind of things i think it is super cute and it'll look super cute on them but again my area is super super petite so um i think on a chubbier baby this might look a little bit nicer so the next thing i'm so sad it's so big um but it is this like pleated polka dot pants and this is so so cute guys like i wish this could have fit her um but it just looks way too big like first of all like the the um waist goes up to here on her and then the pants are like super wide it's still super long so this is humongous i would think like maybe when she's like maybe like two three years old this may fit her so um i don't want to keep it for that long so i'm just gonna <laughs> return that um the next thing i got was this top and I was thinking about keeping it, but the thing is, it's kind of, um, not only is oversized, but it's kind of like the material's not that great. Let me see if I can like put it on her really quickly if she'll let me. Uh, and I'll just show you guys how it looks. But I thought the whole concept was cute. Um, the color is really bright. I thought it would be great for like summertime, but it's supposed to be like a crop polo, but here it is on her. And as you can see, it is humongous 
and little aria. So it kind of defeats the purpose of the look. Um, again, this is like more of like, I think this will feel like a three-year-old, honestly. Um, not an 18-month-old. So it's way too big for her. So um, I'm going to have to return it. So the quality on this one feels really good. But again, it is super big. It feels like like this would be again good for like a, a three-year-old or something um this does run bigger um but again if you have more of a chunkier baby that's wearing a size or two up now she's 18 months but she's wearing like 9 to 12 12 months just to show you how petite she is um but i know with my son at like 12 months he was wearing like 2t so um, if your baby is a little bit more like full and chunky, then um, something like this would be good. Um, and the next thing I want to share with you guys is this top. So this one, again, concept is super cute. But it is, is way too big. It like swallows her. Um, again, this will be better for like a bigger toddler. Maybe like a two, three year old. Um, and it has like this little heart like mesh heart in the front and it's kind of like a poncho kind of top so i thought the whole concept was cute but again way too big for a little aria so it says ooh la la i might keep this one just because i feel like i can get away with her wearing this little oversized i can probably fold the sleeves um and just have this like a baggy sweatshirt and i just think it's it's cute it's it's a thinner material so it's not that a heavy like thick sweater so she can definitely wear this in like in cooler spring nights um or even like cool like summer nights i think this would be good and then the last thing i did get for her were these pair of jeans the concept is really cute the jeans are so so cute but it is humongous on her again so it has like all these like embroidered flowers on there and then it has has this like sandblasted um areas here like on the thighs by the knees and then again it's like elastic like paper bag waist and then the back pocket has like embroidery too but i tried this on her and it looks like clown pants so um the only thing is like the length fits her okay so this i may not be able to keep because by the time she grows into it it'll be too short whereas the other one it's a bit longer as you guys can see um this one is a bit longer so she can definitely grow into size for this but this one i'm definitely gonna have to return because her waist and her overall like body legs is not big enough for this and then she'll grow out of it so yeah, but that's all. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a huge, huge video. And thank you guys for everyone who like stayed till the end. Um, I really appreciate it. Again, I will really love for you guys to consider subscribing to my channel. Um, like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want more Aria videos. I'll try my best to do to kind of feed her and give her a nap before any of these. But I can't promise anything because she's a crazy toddler. Um, but yeah. And also, don't forget to check me on the Instagram. I post tons of fashion content on there. So if you're interested in that, definitely check me out. And I guess me and Aria will see you guys in the next video. All right, say bye. Blow kiss. Mwah. Blow kiss. Mwah. Blow kiss. Mwah. <laughs> okay, bye.